Hi everyone, welcome to Botany Insider. So today we had the chemical science paper and I have tried to gather few questions for you all that were asked in the part A segment. I hope this particular thing will help you out because the life sciences student have your examination tomorrow that is 26. So I thought of quickly gathering as many questions as possible so that you can just get to have an idea ki kis type ke questions is bar general aptitude ke andar aa rahe hai. Right. So all the questions that I am going to discuss now they are from or based upon the memory. They are not in a typed format or anything like that. They are based upon the memory. So there are chances of the options to be like here and there in the final printed form. Okay, I'll just give you the conceptual understanding of that what concepts were asked in the examination. So, first question was or one of the question was that this number was given to you and they asked about that whether or by what value x and y should be there that this entire number gets divisible by 9. And they asked you about that what is the value of y in this. So, first is 2 then 4, then 6 and 8. These were the four options given in the examination. So, in this, what you can remember or how or when do we have a number divisible by 9? When the complete summation is also divisible by 9, right? So, 3 plus 2 is 5 and this is 6. So, total 11 plus x plus y should be divisible by 9. Now, if I write down the table of 9, so 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, so on and so forth. I need to have such a number over here for x and y that when I add these two and when I add the entire number together, that should be divisible. So, in, so first one is let's say 18. So, if I take the final number as 18, so 18 minus 11 is 7. So, I cannot split 7 in such a way and because it's not there in the options as well, so not possible. Then 27. If I take the final summation as 27, so 27 minus 11 is 16. I can bifurcate into 8 and 8 and, and I can reach to my correct answer of option number D. Third is 36. So 11 plus x plus y being 36. 36 minus 11 give you 25. So x plus y in such a way that you have 25 which is not according to the options possible and same goes for 45 as well. It was an easy question to mark a correct answer was option number D that is 8 was the correct answer for this particular question. So first question was from the divisibility concept. So remember about this divisibility concept everyone. It might be asked tomorrow as well. Then there was one question which was saying that a dose was injected to a kid with the value of 500 ml in 1 hour, right? With the injection, 500 ml in 1 hour. Now, per drop size was given to you as 0.05 ml, right? First is the dose is given to you as 500 ml in 1 hour. Now, per dose is 0.05 ml. The question was asking you that what is the drop per minute? What is the drop count per minute? This was the question that was asked in the examination. It's a repeated question from the previous year. So, we'll be, let's solve this particular question out. So, how you have to solve this particular question? So, per drop is given to you as 0.05 ml. I'll be first finding out in per hour. So, if 500 ml in one hour and per drop is 0.05, so, I can find it out in 60 minutes first, right? The number of drops. So, 500 divided by 0 0.05, it will give you what? It will give you the answer as 1000, 10,000, right? So, 10,000 drops are there. I need to find it for per minute. For finding it out for per minute, it will be 10,000 divided by 6. So, when you solve it out, you get the answer as it's a very, very simple and an easy question. You just have to understand the logic behind it and you'll get the answer. So, answer was approximately 166 something. So, you can easily reach to your correct answer, right? So, the answer for this will be like over here, sorry, 1000 will be there. 
yes now the answer will be approximately 165 to 166 which was there in the options as well and hence the correct answer for the question was like the student didn't remember the uh, options over there but Remember the concept that it was asking you about the dosage and the question was asking you the number of doses per minute. So, I hope second question is also clear. There was one more question asked in the examination which was saying that there were different different types of squirrels. In total, 1000 squirrels were given. The three strip squirrels were 200. Your two strip squirrels were 500 and your four strip squirrels were 300 that is different type of squirrels were given and their number question was saying that their survival rate was the question was saying that their survival rate was 90 percent 80 percent and 70 percent right so from the newborn stage to the adult stage 90 percent of three strip squirrels survive 80 percent of two strip and 70 percent of three strip or uh, four strip so what will be the total survival over here 180 400 210 right if you calculate over here you get to 970 question was asking that what is the percentage of the four strip squirrels surviving in the final adults so total adults were 390 uh, total adults that survived were 790 and over here 70 percent of the 790 were your four strip one that's why 790 is the total amount 210 were the survival of were the survived squirrel of forest strip and hence your answer will be approximately 26.5 percent okay this was again one more question which was based upon your percentage i would i would say very simple percentage question was there to marker right again one more question which was asked according to the options given there was one question based upon the speed and distance the exact values of the question is not known but a speed distance question was asked so remember speed is equal to distance upon time i have taken up a number of questions for speed distance time related in the free youtube classes and in the paid courses as well so if you want you can check them and just revise this concept there was one question asked based upon the sitting arrangement which we have discussed the number of questions for the sitting arrangement part as well so you can check out the sitting arrangement questions and just recall that segment one question was asked based upon like it was trigonometry the basic hardcore trigonometry it was a bit difficult one so you can skip that then there was a question asked in which you were given a highway and it was asked you it, they were asking you that what is the total amount of paint that would be used in so or total area of the paint was asked so the uh, length were given to you as 250 and you were supposed to make it a three lane highway based upon the with the help of the paint so the highway was having the strip of 2.5 meter each with a gap of 2.5 meter so question was asking how much paint would be there so we'll be painting it on both the sides so 250 plus 250 meters then the paint will be on these strips as well but there's a exact distance like the strips will be there but there's a gap of 2.5 in the entire length so 2.5 2.5 length in the entire segment so 250 by 2 plus 250 by 2 because I have to make it a 3 lane so 1, 2 for 3 lane I have to make 2, two lines over here so 500 plus 125 plus 125 which comes out to be 750 right so 750 meter was the correct answer for this particular question right so one highway question this one in which the paint uh, area was asked one sitting arrangement question was there distance time question was there then the square based questions was there and then uh, the two questions which we discussed initially which was one of the divisibility test 
and other one was your dosage test. I have got these questions till now. I am trying to like plan out, get, get more questions for you all. So till then, revise these questions as soon as possible because you have your examination tomorrow. So just add on these questions in your preparation and it will help you out. I hope it was helpful. I'll bring up more questions by evening, searching out more questions for you. Thank you for watching. Good luck and give your best shot in tomorrow's examination. Bye everyone. Take care.